that's another thing I would encourage females to to talk to their male coworkers, male friends, even just, you know, talk to males to get their perspective on this. And when I've asked many males that I know that are CFOs, CEOs, uh, presidents of companies, this comes up a lot. And, and they usually will say one of the first things when I will ask them the question, what advice would you give to a female that wants to move up within their company? Have someone in the company that is their advocate. Have someone, another way they like to say it, it's very succinct, is have someone that when you're not in the room, someone there that's speaking uh, really positively about you, someone that's bragging about you, someone that, you know, when no one else is listening, they're still just, you know, saying how wonderful you are. It's important because you're not going to be in those rooms. Um, and to your point, though, it, it might be a little steam. It's almost like you can't just go out naturally. You can't go out and say, hey, will you be my advocate? Will you, you know, please say nice things about me when I'm not in the room? You have to earn that. That's something that they're again going full circle. That's something that you get as a result from doing a great job and being a great person and helping others within the workplace. You know, that's just something. Um, but it's important to know as well. Don't be fooled if uh, if you don't have someone in the company that you feel you have a really great connection with and that you can trust and that you you know would call a confidant, that means that you don't have that. So I would make it a point uh, sooner than later to uh, to identify one or two of those people. You know, I think